After 41 professional fights, Tatsuya Kawajiri finally made his Octagon debut at UFC Fight Night 34 in Singapore. Facing unranked Sean Soriano, Crusher made a statement. Sean Soriano's Winston looked like he might have tapped there, and now he goes out. In the post-fight interview, he had a message for Dana White. But it's giving me a chance! I want to! Your ass is the right red time to jump! Well, casual fans may question a debuting fighter calling for a title shot after just one UFC win. But Kawajiri's career began in 2000, and he has fought for almost every other major promotion, including a fight of the year against Takanori Gomi in 2005. Since dropping down to featherweight after 11 years as a lightweight, the Japanese fighter is 5-0 with four finishes. Really tight. Nice tap down. There it is. Well, oh, Jason, you were on top of that the whole way through. Crusher has come to the UFC with one mission in mind. His next test in achieving that goal is Clay the Carpenter Guida. Illinois native made his Octagon debut way back at UFC 64 and holds victories over Nate Diaz, Rafael Dos Anjos, and current lightweight champion Anthony Pettis. However, he has gone just 1-3 in, in his last four fights. Guida's blue-collar, never-quit attitude made him a fan favorite for most of his UFC run, but an elusive game plan against Gray Maynard at UFC on FX4 caused some fans to turn their back on the Jackson Winklejohn fighter. Some some uh, goof put in his head that, that running around circles might win in the fight, and they were dead wrong. Both fighters have strong wrestling bases, which could cancel each other out. On the feet, Kawajiri has the definite power advantage, but the Carpenter has the definite edge and speed. We know my gas tank. I'm going to be. It's going to be above uh, above full, and we'll be ready to go uh, three rounds hard and exciting pace, and um, really, you know, take him into deep water and uh, see what he's made of.